Each of us here this evening will make many decisions in our lives. My thesis is on portfolio construction, how we use market information to invest a portfolio across financial assets. This is simply another decision, and what's important is the process. The two important aspects to any decision-making process, the framework we use for making the decision and the information we incorporate. Let's look at the frameworks first. Historically, portfolio construction decisions have been based on a collection of what we call single time frame decisions. At any point in time, we account for the market information, we determine the optimal portfolio, and at the end of that interval, we apply the same process again and then again. This all started to change in 1969 when my pin-up heroes, Nobel laureates, Robert Merton and Paul Samuelson, developed what's known as the multi-period portfolio construction framework. This framework is quite similar, except that in making our present decision, we, we account for current information. We also consider the future situations that we may face and the future decisions that we may make. Now, this sounds complicated, so let me illustrate. Assume each of you here tonight own a dog. Each day, you have to make a decision about whether or not you will walk your dog. If I'm applying the single period framework, you might say, I may not walk my dog today because I feel a little tired and busy. But if you apply the multi-period framework, you may change your decision. You may say, although I'm tired and busy today, the outlook for my diary for the rest of the week is really busy and the forecast for the weather is terrible, so I should walk my dog today. And so it is this multi-period framework which forms the foundation of my thesis. And as all the PhD students here tonight will tell you, to achieve our PhDs, we need to extend the literature. So in essence, the multi-period framework is my black and white. How am I extending the literature? Where is my colour? Well, my colour palette is the choice of market information I incorporate into my decision. I use value and momentum as indicators or predictors of future stock market returns. Both have been heavily explored in the literature and are easy to understand. When stocks are undervalued, we expect them to perform well in the future. And when there's a trend in the market, we expect that stock market trend to continue. The contribution of my thesis is that this combination of information, value and momentum has never before been considered in the multi-period framework. And so I am extending the literature, but in doing so, I get to explore some of the big issues in finance, such as how best to design a portfolio and how to make the most use of market information. Thank you.